Hello everyone, this is Dry Flame Sounds Online, and welcome to Undertale Till Red. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Undertale Red. Don't know why I say that. So for Undertale Red, it's a fan game that I'm made by other players. So I mean this I'm being joined by Black Shadow. Hello everybody. <laughs> And I also kind of recommended Dragonfly to actually play this before we do get to Delta Run or Delta Rune. Delta Rune. Yeah. So okay, um, we got the movement style. Press Z to switch, hold shift for start on startup. You show the menu again. This menu again. Okay. We got normal movement at the same speed, all directions. Or we got the original. Move every every way you want. Would. And Undertale, slower than diagonal movement, but quicker di diagonals. Hmm. Okay. We have the basic one, but I'm gonna go normalize on this one. Yeah, of course we gotta so, do that. So if you want to continue this, kind of go down. There's someone there. Here. Here. But uh, yeah. So, if you want to download this fan game, I'll put a link to the description down below so you can get the game. Yep. So, okay, and now we're gonna act. So, we're name, her name's Red. Now, so, so, we are gonna be doing the Path to the Street and the Genocide Room. Yep. So, let's check. Red, Apex, for Defense. I've been following you around. Must want to, must want to be friends. And this is for attack. Of course, of course I feel like that. Where's the scene? Where you the mic? So okay. Let's see if we can talk to you. You politely greet your new guests. Okay. Red is considering her options. And let's... Joke. You tried to deliver your favorite joke, but in your excitement, you fumble your words. You're a little embarrassed, but we'll probably will laugh be laughing about it later. And I can't believe it. Red tugs are ribbon. That tibbling. Red doesn't know what to make of that. Actually, Red doesn't know. Red's actually blurred. Yeah. Okay. Smells like. Smells like pomegranate. Pomegranate. And what's. You guys ran about her day. Hey, not that off. Red, but your journey you have, and a friend you made. Are you listening to me? Red, see, we have to fight. Until Red, you don't want to fight. What's with you? Just straight up trying to strike up a friendly conversation? In the middle of a battle? Who? What kind of... You know what? No. If you don't want to fight... I'll have to make you. And... The red line dodged that. Ooh, what's that? What the? <laughs> okay then. So let's see here. So you got like your regular like items that you would get though from page one to page two. I don't have a category. You can vary into your mail. You recover eight to eight to eight. You think I haven't heard of you already? Someone needs to 
calm down. Talk. Try to save something, but Blue Baby Fred just keeps on going. Looks like action. Won't be any hit until she powers herself out. A new world has been opened up for us. I've never been so excited. <laughs> Yeah, for that attack and stuff, you do not want to go into the box with a bomb goes to. Okay, let's go. They're having some trouble coming up with a bang of material. What a bunch of nonsense. You're nonsense. And the attack goes right here. Red does her best to get the joke you made earlier. And what's the point? You tried to death heavily. Red doesn't know what you mean. You're a human. You're the last key to our freedom. Okay. And then move. And I got me here. The dialogue box is in shambles. Of course. So, okay then. Let's have a dog salad. Yay, dog salad. It's what literally garbage. Very cheap right now. You can be as much of a sweetheart as you want, but it's not going to change anything. And hard for me to get. Which is not that hard. So I need to calm down. Okay, talk. You tried to say something about Rue Baby. And talk about him. It's not even just anyone that comes your way, is it? But thankfully to that train and stuff, it not move at all. Yeah. It's really effective. There are some trouble coming up. Are you so upset with confronting everyone you know that you'll throw your life on the line just to do it? And here comes some more bombs. I'm surprised you didn't take damage from that bomb, or did you? Nope. Nope. Good boy. Why even bother? You're... You're just going to get yourself killed. That's always like your heart is going to dodge, though. Huh. Red does the best to get the joke you made earlier. And all these... And all those monsters you befriended. It will break their hearts. Red grips with strength. What's with you? Nice one, Dry Flame. Red does the best for giving to why won't you fight back? And now the sound. Why won't you fight? <laughs> Why won't you fight back? Dude, that was a close one. Mm hmm. I almost died there. I. I hate this. I hate this so much! Uh, I think now we can talk to her. You asked Fred what's wrong. You remember the canyon. the canine unit, right? If you pass through Snowden, 
you must have. Well, when I heard them talking about you, it... It scared me. Not for some safety, mind you. I like to think I'm not a terrible fighter. But because of all the things they said about you, they were so positive. They all considered you a friend. This is not a single human has ever made it past Asgore. After he ridiculed war on human humankind, six fallen humans were reduced to six souls, and I felt you would be no different. If you were kind to me, only to be killed by our king, I, I don't know what to do. I didn't want to lose anyone else. So, I did my best to shut you out. I refused to like you. And then, you finally appeared. Asking about my day, showing concern, trying to make me laugh. Gosh, I hate every minute of it. But, um, I guess they're not stopping you, huh? You're a mean, clean, befriending machine. So, uh, thanks for being a patient with me, and, uh, sorry, I tried to slice you open, I guess. These things happen. Red is feeling much better, so we can spare her, but I'm gonna be doing everything. Yep. So, let's talk to her again. You asked Red about her day. Um, I'd say it's better now. All through, I'm mostly just, I'm really hungry. As we all know, panic, panicking with a sword around takes a lot out of you. It's feeling much better, so let's do item. And let's have a fun girl. He's the hot dog with Fred. He recovered 10 HP. Fred's HP was back down. Oh, nice. That's a bun. Thanks a bunch. So, mine, I guess we can use pretty much every item. Mm -hmm. So, let's use the stick. You treat the stick. Ray catches it in her mouth. She's really proud of herself. Yeah, you see that? That's some MTT level content you just got. Thankfully, though, what I learned about Red, though, well, what I learned about Red, though, Red's actually kind of like part dog, I guess, or she might be a dog, though. She's part canine. Oh. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> so let's have a cinnamon bunny. You split a cinnamon bunny with Fred. HP max step for both. What? That's... A cinnamon bunny? These are my favorite. Gosh. If you had a lot more food and stuff, there might be some different dialogues. Yeah. You were thrown by your dandelions you saw earlier. You know, those are kind of all over the place, but it's weird. I've never seen them, like, grow anywhere around here. But they're always up in the air, stem and all. I'm not even entirely convinced it's naturally occurring. I often come here to try and calm myself, but then I start wondering about that stuff and walked away a confused mess. Kina, again, you asked right about her morning routine. Okay, so, are you familiar with Mew Mew Kissy Kitty 2? Every morning, I open, palm, slam a VHS of that into the slot. And I just get way into it. 
like the addition of fighting scenes was really needed. And the new characters, she's a bit shoehorned in for my taste. But Mew Mew definitely needs a foil. Huh? You heard it's terrible? Well, I don't know what kind of stuck-up nerd told you that. Whoever they are, they gotta take off their... Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Nostalgic goggles. And get a good whiff of that sequel quality. Because you smell with your eyeballs. Yeah, nothing with that. <laughs> you guys think of anything else to talk about? So you just sit and watch the dandelions for a bit. So let's put a joke. You make what some experts believe to be a joke. Oh my gosh. Or it's feeling much better. Joke. You made some fun fun puns. You <laughs> made some fun fun puns. Oh, I don't get that one actually. You do your best dance impression. It's incredible. Great <laughs> point for that one. You do your best dance impression. It's awful. You improvise a joke. So funny you can't help but feel proud. Red has heard it before. <laughs> you try to deliver your favorite joke, but in your excitement, you fumble your words. You're a little embarrassed, but we'll probably be laughing about it later. Uh, I guess. <laughs> it's, you tell a scary story by mistake. You hear the sounds of dog hiding and whimpering. <laughs> oh, fresh material, you regurgitate your an internet meme. Oh, I don't get that one, actually. <laughs> and you do with that sense impression. It's incredible. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's do four. You shrug sensitively. Red doesn't know what I mean, but... That's a good thing. Well, I guess you've got places to be, kings to meet. Asgore is our king for a reason. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's mean. If you ask nicely enough, you can be friends with him too. Knock him dead, champ. Don't actually kill anyone. If you do, I'll... I'll... I'll be real upset. So, don't do that, okay? I won't. And that's the end of the passes route of Undertale Red. Yep. On the passes mode. Mm hmm. Undertale Cry by Toby Fox. Yep. Ring, ring. <laughs> Hello? Jeez, finally, you've been trying- we- we've been trying to call you for like a thousand hours! <laughs> Ever since you wandered off, Papyrus has been worried sick about you. And now he's- he won't stop making what he calls his regretty spaghetti. It's really, really salty. Where the heck did you go? What? How did you end up out there? You can't even get there from... Well, you better turn back. There's a... a really huge, ultra-powerful, super-gross monster there. Yeah, you'll get your butt kicked for sure. So you met her, huh? She's a good kid, you know. You might think she's a bit too soft for a real guard. But for one reason or another, the guard's kind of the only family she has. 
I assigned her over there specifically so she wouldn't have to fight you. But it sounds like things worked out, I guess. It's funny, if you think about it. Her fear of making a losing a human friend felt pretty silly to me. But now, as your undisputed best friend, I can say it's 100% legit. So don't you go die on us, or I'll give you something to die for about. <laughs> And our rain. Hold it! So, I totally forgot to tell you about... How, um, sorry. Tell you how to head back towards the core from there. But it's not gonna be easy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be brutally. I hope you've been training for this day. Because it will test your mental and shake you to your soul. But, with my guidance, you might just survive. Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. Here's what you do. You figure it out yourself because I have no idea. Hop to it, nerd! <laughs> Dying. Pretty rude. And that is the end of the fastest route this time. And click for to reset. Uh-huh. And then the game plays. Yep. So, now mine, that is it for the Undertale Red Pass mode. Yep, but now, next up will be the genocide in the next episode. So, till then, this is Dragon Flame Cell Song 1. And Black Shadow 2525. Signing out and see you on the genocide mode. See ya!